بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ما بعد فالسلام الله عليكم ورحمته وبركاته الله عز وجل accept your fasting and your worship as a whole Allah Ta'ala bless just not just your first day of Ramadan and its first night but the entirety of this month to truly be a blessing for you Ahbab as we want to better understand how we're going to approach, what methodology we're going to use for uh, our understanding of the Qur'an, we're going to focus on what's referred to as a frequency list. A frequency list. And I'm quoting here from uh, the website topicislam.com. They write, a few common words can help you understand large parts of the book. Did you know that just 50 of the most common words make up a whopping 50% of the Qur'an? A frequency list is simply the words of a language arranged according, uh, according how commonly they are used. And if we understand that this frequency list, it can take on many different forms, whether it be nouns, whether it be um, the particles that are in there, or what's called in the Arabic, al-huruf, or verbs. We're going to want to take the position of using the verbs. Why? Because one of the positions that the scholars of Arabic say is that الأصل في في الكلام الفعل that the origins or the default are verbs and it's from the verbs that the nouns are basically founded. And so that's what we're going to do. We're going to focus on verbs. The actual list uh, the 100 most common verbs in the Qur'an, it's taken from the website fluentarabic.net and it is composed by Abdul Alim. Allah Azza reward him and bless him for the service that he's doing. Allahumma ameen. So what we're going to do is inshallah ta'ala take the first of those verbs and then we are going to inshallah Azza wa Jal, we're going to break it down and give you inshallah ta'ala what the meaning is. And hopefully in doing so, we'll then go ahead and build on it some grammar rules uh, just so that this way you're going to take the verb and we'll go from the first verb to the second. We'll mention how many times that verb was mentioned. Um, and inshallah ta'ala, hopefully throughout the month of Ramadan, we'll be able to get um, a good quantity of them such that you will notice the benefit that you're getting from it. And bi'idni lahi azawajal will even continue afterwards with what you've started of this wonderful, wonderful journey to better understand Allah Azawajal's final revelation in the most beautiful and the most powerful language that exists, Arabic.